so good to see you today. Today we're talking about being in the family of God, being part of God's family. And if you're friends with Jesus, then you're part of God's family. And it's so good because God gives us brothers and sisters that we can do life with, that we can share and encourage each other, that we can learn more about Jesus from each other and from God, and we can grow together. It's so good. But right now, let's do some worship. Let's jump up on our feet and let's sing and dance and worship Jesus together. Hi guys, this is Bez here, and today we're talking about the importance of being a part of God's family, and knowing that. Now, you'll see some Wooshies here, they're a funny sort of family, but being part of God's family is so much more important, and it's really important we know that, because when we know that, we know we're loved, we know we're looked after, we know we're being pointed in the right direction, and also love in return. And Jesus loves us so much. So, thanks guys. Do you have a brother or a sister? Maybe you don't have a brother or a sister. But when you're part of God's family, there's always friends. There's always people to do life with. There's always someone ready to help. There's always someone ready to pray with you and help you and help us move past things and move into everything God has for us. Because when you're in a family, you look after one another. And God has placed you and me in a jam family and an extreme life family and a global church family so we can all serve God and do life together and see God's kingdom come and that people would know Jesus and be friends with him too. So good. 
Have you got your Bible? Because it's now time for the 60 second scripture find. Yeah! Quick, grab the Big Rescue Bible because it's now time to play the 60 second scripture find. Okay, grab your Bibles because today we're going to look up a scripture. Are you ready? You have 60 seconds to look it up and see if you can beat the clock. Today's scripture is Luke chapter 8, verse 21. And your time starts now. Jesus answered, My mother and my brothers are those people who hear and obey God's message. Luke chapter 8, verse 21. Awesome! So good! Does anyone know what time it is? Do you know? It's Jimmy time! Hi, I'm Jimmy. I wonder what I'm thinking about today. How do I become part of God's family? Did you know that if you've given your life to God and you are friends with Jesus, God says that you are now in his family. We are all part of God's family. As members of God's family, we, we love God, we worship God, we serve God. What does the Bible say? Jesus answered, the scriptures say, worship the Lord your God and serve him only. In Luke chapter 4 verse 8. Love God. Families show love to each other. If you love each other, everyone will know that you are my disciples. That's in John chapter 13, verse 35. My dear friends, we must love each other. Love comes from God. And when we love each other, it shows we have been given new life. We are now God's children and we know him. 1 John chapter 4, verse 7. We are called to love others because we're part of God's family. Obedience to God makes you a member of God's family. Jesus answered, Who is my mother and who are my brothers? Then he pointed to his disciples and said, These are my mother and brothers. Anyone who obeys my Father in heaven is my brother or sister or mother. Matthew chapter 12, verse 48 to 50. Families forgive each other. If you forgive others for the wrongs they do to you, your Father in heaven will forgive you. Matthew chapter 6, verse 14. We love because God first loved us. But if we say we love God and don't love each other, we are liars. We cannot see God. So how can we love God if we don't love the people we can see? The commandment that God has given us is love God and love each other. That's in 1 John chapter 4, 
verse 19 to 21. To be part of God's family, it's really important that we forgive each other. As God's family, we need to live in unity. It is truly wonderful when the people of God live together in peace. That's in Psalms 133 verse 1. Isn't it great to have a Heavenly Father who loves us? It's awesome to be in God's family. And because we're friends with Jesus, we're all part of God's family. <sighs> so good to remember that by being friends with Jesus, we're all part of his family and we can look after each other and look out for each other. See you next time. Bye. Thanks, Jimmy. That was so good. <gasps> right now. Right now. Check this out! says 
That's the best way to do life. And that's how God's called us to live, to follow him. And when we do things God's way, he will protect us and keep us safe, just like what happens to Noah and his family because they were obedient. Let's check this out. It's amazing. Stories of the Bible, Noah and the Flood. This is Noah. Hey! Noah was a good man who tried to do the right thing. Yeah! But in the time when Noah lived, he was the only man on earth who was doing the right thing. All the other people on earth were doing evil things and hurting each other. This made God very sad. So God said that he was going to send a flood to the earth that would destroy every living thing on earth because he was sorry he ever made them. But God decided to save Noah and his family. God told Noah to build a boat and fill it with two of every kind of animal and bird. Colors, bird, moss, okay, all here. Noah did just that, and then Noah and his whole family boarded the boat and waited for the flood to come. The rain fell hard for 40 days and 40 nights. Water! Water covered the whole earth, and the boat floated safely on the surface. Water covered even the highest mountains on earth, but Noah and his family were saved. God remembered Noah and all the animals on the boat. God sent a wind to blow across the earth, and the flood began to go away. After five months, the boat came to rest on a mountaintop. A few months later, the other mountains could be seen. Forty days later, Noah opened a window and released a raven. The bird flew back and forth until the flood had dried up. He also sent a dove out to see if it could find dry ground. But the dove couldn't find a place to land because there was still water on the ground. So the dove returned to the boat. Oh, hello again. After another seven days, Noah sent the dove out again. This time, it came back with an olive leaf. Oh, that girl. So Noah knew that the floodwaters were almost gone. A week later, he sent the dove out again, and it didn't come back. So many months after the flood began, Noah opened the covering of the boat and saw that the ground was drying. He waited two more months, and at last, the earth was dry. Then God said to Noah, Leave the boat, all of you. Release the animals so they can be fruitful and multiply throughout the earth. Okay! So Noah, his family, and all the animals finally left the boat. Noah built an altar to the Lord to make a sacrifice to God. God was pleased with Noah's offering and said to himself that he would never again destroy every living thing on earth. God blessed Noah and his sons and promised them that he would never send another flood. He gave them the rainbow in the sky as a sign of this promise to Noah, his family, and all of mankind. What a great story. What a great cartoon. God was faithful and he saved Noah and his family because they loved him. They loved God and they were obedient to what he said. And not only did God save them, but he saved all the animals too. Oh. Being a part of God's family is amazing and we can't take it for granted. God loves us all and Jesus paid the price for our sins and we have the Holy Spirit with us but we can't take it for granted. We need to thank God every day that he loves us and that we're part of his family. And we need to look around at our friends, our brothers and our sisters at home and at church and make sure they're going okay too. Because being in a family, we need to look after each other. We need to forgive each other and we need to help each other because that's what families do. And that's why we are part of God's family. 
We're ready to help and ready to lend a hand and ready to be compassionate and ready to bring God's truth and ready to bring God's healing every time it's needed because we serve a wonderful, wonderful Heavenly Father and God has put us here to let everyone know that He is God and that He loves them too. Thanks for being part of Jam Online today. Thanks for being part of God's family. We are part of God's family together. And I'm going to see you next time at Jam Online. Bye! Jesus, you are the way. You are the way. You are the way. You are the truth. You, you are, are the, the truth. truth. You, you are, are the truth. truth. Jesus, you are the life. You, you are, are the life. life. You, you are, are the life. life. You are the life. You are the life. You are the 